Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. <clears throat> and blessed be his kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Jesus said, The first commandment is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Dearly beloved, let us come into the presence of the Almighty God, praying together as we need. Together. Most, Most merciful, merciful God, God, I confess that I have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by, by what I have done and by what I have left undone. undone. I have not loved you with my whole heart. I have not loved my neighbor as myself. I am truly sorry and I humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on me and forgive me, that I may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Please stand. stand. And together, let us say the glory in excelsis. Glory, glory to, God to God in the, in the highest, highest and, and peace to his people on earth. Lord, Lord God, God, heavenly King, King Almighty, Almighty God and Father, Father we, we worship you. you. We give, give you thanks. thanks. We, we praise, praise you for, for your glory. glory. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, only Son, Son of the Father, Father Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, let us pray. O oh God, the protector of all who trust in you, without whom nothing is strong, nothing is holy, increase and multiply upon us your mercy, that with you as our ruler and guide, we may so pass through things temporal, that we lose not the things eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A proclamation of the word of God from the book of Joshua, chapter 24, beginning at verse 16. The people answered and said, Far be it from us that we should forsake the Lord to serve other gods. For the Lord our God is he who brought us and our fathers up out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage and who did these great signs in our sight and preserve us through all the way in which we went and among all the peoples through whose meat we pass. The Lord drove out from before us all the peoples, even the Amorites who live in the land. We also will serve the Lord for he is our God. Then Joshua said to the people, you will not be able to serve the Lord, for he is a holy God. He is a jealous God. He will not forgive your transgression or your sins. If you forsake the Lord and serve foreign gods, 
Then he will turn and do you harm and consume you after he has done good for you. The people said to Joshua, No, but we will serve the Lord. Joshua said to the people, You are witnesses against yourselves that you have chosen for yourselves the Lord to serve him. And they said, We are witnesses. Now, therefore, put away the foreign gods which are in your midst, and incline your hearts to the Lord, the God of Israel. The people said to Joshua, We will serve the Lord our God, and we will obey his voice. So Joshua made a covenant with the people that day, and made for them a statute and an ordinance in Shechem. And Joshua wrote these words in the book of the law of God, and he took a large stone and set it up there under the oak that was by the sanctuary of the Lord. Joshua said to all the people, Behold, this stone shall be for a witness against us, for it has heard the, all the words of the Lord which he spoke to us. Thus it shall be for a witness against you, so that you do not deny your God. Then Joshua dismissed the people, each to his inheritance. It came about after these things that Joshua, the son of Nun, the servant of the Lord, died, being 110 years old. And they, buried, <coughs> and they buried him in the territory of his inheritance in Tinas Sirah, which is in the hill country of Ephraim, on the north of Mount Gaash. Israel served the Lord all the days of Joshua and all the days of the elders who survived Joshua and had known all the deeds of the Lord which he has done for Israel. Now they buried the bones of Joseph, which the sons of Israel brought up from Egypt at Shechem in the piece of ground which Jacob had bought from the sons of Hamor, the father of Shechem for 100 pieces of money, and they became the inheritance of Joseph's sons. And Eleazar, the son of Aaron, died, and they buried him at Gibeah of Pinehas, his son, which was given him in the hill country of Ephraim. The word of the Lord. Please stand for the responsorial psalms, they, uh, which are Psalm 56, Psalm 57, and Psalm 58. Psalm 56. Be gracious to me, O God, for man has stumbled upon me. Fighting all day long, he opposes me. My foes, My foes have, have trampled, trampled upon, upon me all day, all day long. long. For there, there are, are many, many who fight proudly against, against me. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. In God, God whose word, word I praise, in God, God I have put, put my trust. trust. I, I shall not be afraid. What can, what can mere, mere man do to me? All day long they distort my words. All their thoughts are against me for evil. They, they attack, attack, they, they lurk, lurk, they watch they my steps. steps as they, they have waited, waited to take my life. Because of wickedness, they cast them forth. In anger, put down the peoples, O God. You have, you have taken, taken account of my wanderings. Put my, put my tears, tears in your bottle. bottle. Are, they Are they not, not in, in your book? book? <clears throat> then my enemies will turn back in the day when I call. This I know that God is for me. In God, God whose word I praise. In, in the, the Lord, Lord whose word, word I, praise. I praise. In God I put my trust. I shall not be afraid. What can man do to me? Your vows, Your vows are, binding are binding upon me, O God. God. I, I will, will render, render thank offerings to you. you. For you have delivered my soul from death. Indeed, my feet from stumbling, so that I may walk before God in the light of the living. 
Psalm 57. Be gracious to me, O God, be gracious to me. For my soul take refuge in you, and in the shadow of your wings I will take refuge until destruction passes by. I will, I will cry, cry to, to God, God Most High, to God, God who accomplishes, accomplishes all things for me. He will send from heaven and save me. He reproaches him who tramples upon me. God will send forth his loving kindness and his truth. My soul, My soul is, is among, among lions. lions. I must, I must lie among those who breathe forth fire. Even, Even the sons, sons of men, whose teeth are spears and arrows, and, arrows, and their, their tongue a sharp sword. Be exalted above the heavens, O God. Let your glory be above all the earth. They have they prepared a net, net for my steps. steps. My, my soul, soul is bowed down. down. They, they dug, dug a pit before me. They, they themselves, themselves have fallen into the midst of it. My heart is steadfast, O God. My heart is steadfast. I will sing, yes, I will sing praises. Awake, Awake my, my glory. Awake, Awake harp and lyre. lyre. I will awaken the dawn. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, among the peoples. I will sing praises to you among the nations. For your, For your loving, loving kindness, kindness is great to the heavens, and your truth to the clouds. Be exalted above the heavens, O God. Let your glory be above all the earth. Psalm 58. Do you indeed speak righteousness, O gods? Do you judge uprightly, O sons of men? No, in the heart you work unrighteousness. On earth you weigh out the violence of your hands. The wicked are estranged from the womb. These who speak lies goes astray from birth. They have venom like the venom of a serpent, like a deaf cobra that stops up its ear. So that it does not hear the voice of charmers or a skillful caster of spells. O oh God, oh God shatter their teeth, teeth in their mouth. Their mouth. Break, Break out, out the, the fangs of the young, young lions, O Lord. Lord. Let them flow away like water that runs off. When he aim his arrow, let them be as headless shafts. Let, let them be, be as, as a snail which, which melts, melts away as it goes along. along. Like the like miscarriages of a woman which, which never see the sun. Before your paths can feel the fire of thorns, he will sweep them away with a whirlwind, the green and the burning alike. The righteous, the righteous will rejoice when he sees the vengeance. He will wash his feet in the blood of the, of the wicked. And man will say, surely there is a reward for the righteous. Surely there is a God who judges on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it, it was, was in the, the beginning, beginning, is now, now and, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A proclamation of the word of God from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 16, beginning at verse 1. I commend you, I commend to you, our sister Phoebe, who is a servant of the church, which is at St. Christian, that you receive her in the Lord in a manner worthy of the saints, that you help her in whatever matter she may have need of you. For she herself has also been a helper of many, and of myself as well. Greet Prisca and Aquila, my fellow workers in Christ Jesus, who for my life risk their own necks, to whom not only do I give thanks, but also all the churches of the Gentiles. Also greet the church that is in their house. Greet Ephanius, my beloved, who is the first convert to Christ from Asia. Greet Mary, who has worked hard for you. Greet Andronicus and Junias, my kinsmen, and my fellow prisoners, who are outstanding among the apostles, who also were in Christ before me. 
Greet Amphiliatus, my beloved in the Lord. Greet Urbanus, our fellow worker in Christ, and Stachys, my beloved. Greet Apelles, the approved in Christ. Greet those who are of the household of Aristobus. Greet Herodion, my kinsman. Greet those of the household of Narcissus who are in the Lord. Greet Tyf Typhena and Tryposas, workers in the Lord. Greet Persis, the beloved, who has worked hard in the Lord. Greet Rufus, a choice man in the Lord, also his mother and mine. Greet Asyncritus, Philgion, Hermes, Patrobas, Hermas, and the brethren with them. Greet Philologus and Julia, Nerus and his sister, and Olympus, and all the saints who are with them. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the churches of Christ greet you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Lord be on our minds, on our lips, on our hearts, as we hear his holy gospel. The holy gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Matthew, chapter 27. Glory to you, Lord Christ. <clears throat> we are reading from verse 24. When Pilate saw that he was accomplishing nothing, but rather that a riot was starting, he took water and washed his hands in front of the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. See to that yourselves. And all the people said, His blood shall be on us and on our children. Then he released Barabbas for them. But after having Jesus scourged, he handed him over to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the praetorium and gathered the whole Roman cohort around him. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him. And after twisting together a crown of thorns, they put it on his head and a reed in his right hand, and they knelt down before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! They spat on him and took the reed and began to beat him on the head. After they had mocked him, they took the scarlet robe off him and put his own garments back on him and led him away to crucify him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Please be seated. Pontius Pilate was <clears throat> reluctant. Matatandaan niyo sa istorya si Pontius Pilate, ayaw niya sanang, ayaw niya sanang i-gawin yung gusto ng mga tao. They were crying out, as the mob, they were crying out, crucify him. They were talking about Jesus, crucify him. But in his own investigation, he, see, see Pontius Pilate could not see guilt in Jesus. So he, he told the mob, I see no guilt in this man. And they kept saying, crucify him, crucify him. And then uh, he said, well, I'm innocent of this man's blood. And so the people, sinabi nila, his blood be upon us and upon our children. Sagot namin yan. Yung kamatayan niya, kami ang sisisihin. Kami ang mananagot. Hindi lang kami, pati mga anak namin. 
yung sentensya ni Jesus. Because they were thinking that they were fulfilling righteously the law of God. They believed Jesus committed a crime, which, you know, they, they blow up uh, blasphemy, so to speak. Tapos, ang kaparusuhan, kamatayan. I remember this one, this one uh, very prominent figure during the, the Middle Ages. And he has a big following today, but he had somebody killed, burned to death just because they didn't fully understand, according to him, they didn't fully understand the Holy Spirit or the doctrine of the Trinity. Hindi lang naintindihan yung doktrina, ibay pinapatay and cruel death, pinasunog. But that was how twisted, that was how ignorant we were as people, as religious creatures, of who our God is. Ang totoo niyan, ang mga pumatay kay Jesus, hindi, hindi ang Diyos Ama, kundi yung mga tao. Their, their hatred, their greed for power, and their lust, and their jealousy, yun ang pumatay kay Jesus. And we still are guilty of that today. But we have been proclaiming uh, a wrong image of God, the Father. We say that it was God the Father who killed that He is angry with men and that He needs justice to be served. And so, imbis na patayin ng tao, aba yung anak niya yung nag-volunteer. Dad, ako na lang, pabayaan mo na sila, ako na lang yung patayin mo kasi justice has to be served, right? Merong nagawang kasalanan, merong dapat magbayad sa kasalanan. But the thing is, is that justice? Is that justice? Katarungan ba yon na ang mga taong nagkasala hindi mapaparusahan? At yung taong hindi nagkasala, siya yung magbabayad ng kaparusahan. It's not justice, right? Where is justice for Jesus? He was guiltless. He didn't commit any sin. But he got the punishment. But because it, we got it wrong, we think that God demands justice by having someone pay for the crime that we committed. The thing also is, if we, or uh, if someone paid for the price, then he, God really is not forgiving. Right? If he asks for repayment, if he asks, if he demands that someone be punished, then it's not forgiveness. Hindi pinatawad, di ba? Pinagbayad pa rin niya eh. Pinagbayad pa rin So, walang kapatawaran. But we have been uh, proclaiming a wrong image of God. Ang sinasabi natin, pinatawad tayo ng Panginoon at pinatay niya yung sarili niyang anak para tayo ay mapatawad. No, no, no. Like the, you know, the Jews were right. The Jewish mob were right. They said, His blood be upon us and upon our children. We are the guilty party. Tayo talaga ang may kasalanan. Pero, dapat ang pagpapakilala natin sa Diyos Ama, siya ay mapagpatawad. Papaano niya pinatawad ang ating kasalanan? Nilang pinatawad na, sige, kalimutan na natin yun. Hindi. Yung galit natin, yung kasalanan natin na, na uh, nakikita sa galit natin, sa inggit natin, sa katakawan natin sa kapangyarihan, yun ang nagpako kay Jesus sa krus. And what did He do? He absorbed all of it. He absorbed all of it, nailed it to the cross, so that when He was hanging on the cross, he spoke with his father, with whom he had the same heart and attitude of forgiveness and mercy. Sabi niya, Father, please forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. And the father, I could imagine, 
from heaven says, of course, son, because that's how we roll. Ganyan tayo, yung magpagpatawad eh. And so Jesus doesn't just sacrifice himself on the cross, but he also makes us realize this is the ugliness of sin. Ito yung, ito yung ka, yung, yung ka, ang tawag sa Tagalog, kabuktutan ng, ng mga mali nating pamamaraan. Akala natin, ang solusyon sa isang bagay, sabihin natin isang Hitler, sabihin natin isang uh, drug pusher, ang solusyon natin, patayin yan. Para ang maiwan sa mundo, yung mga mababait lang. Wala nang masasama sa mundo. So the solution is to kill them. Instead of forgiving them and converting them into good citizens, into good people. So really, the, the guilt is upon us, but the mercy is with our God. So sana ang pakilala natin sa Diyos, ganun. And how do we introduce God? How do we make God known to others? By reflecting His divine nature. You know, when Jesus said, when we do good works, we glorify God who is in heaven when we let our light shine before men. That's the goal. That's the purpose. May we introduce, may we make known a God who is merciful and loving and compassionate by, by manifesting the same divine nature in the way we live, in the way we treat our brothers and our neighbors. And then we, make, we, we know God and then we make Him known, which is the way it is in the kingdom of our God. Please stand. Together, let us confess the Apostles' Creed. I believe, I believe in God, God the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray for the whole state of Christ's church and for the world. Almighty Father, we lift before you your holy Catholic Church. That you would lead us in truth, baptize us in love, and unite us in spirit. We pray for her leaders, especially Bishop Craig and Bishop Ariel. That they may with one voice minister your life to your people and the world. We lift before you the people of this community, this nation, and the world. We may honor one another and serve the common good. We pray for our governmental leaders, especially President Marcos. That you would lead them in the ways of justice and peace. We lift before you all who suffer in body, mind, or spirit that you would send your comfort and grace upon them. And Heavenly Father, we continually lift up unto you our brothers and sisters who are in need of your divine healing. Gloria, Tess, Charmaine, Grace, Jose, Mitch, Kenneth, Merlin, Maria Loreto, Fur, Dennis, Virgili, Marisa, Vic, Carrie, Marinelle, Christine, Priscille, Edith, Perry, Light, Sean Ross, Simeon, Sherwin, Juminard, Ferdinovim, Jinky, Teresa, 
Nelia, Diana, Maricel, Elaine, Agatha, Sophia Recto, Marvin, Sophia Javier, Raymond, Gerald, Anna, Renzi, Bobbit, Maria, John Paul, Cynthia, Milagros, <coughs> Zach, Romulo, Peter, Leticia, Theophilo, James and Roxy, and Lourdes. <coughs> Give to the departed eternal rest. Grant that we may share with them in your everlasting kingdom. Together, let us confess our corporate petition. Almighty, Almighty God, God and King, King our, our dwelling, dwelling place, place in all generations, generations owner, owner of, of the earth and all it contains, grant unto us our lot of inheritance, we pray, and the, the grace to build upon it facilities in which your people, being restored in your image and ever growing in love for you, might become a habitation of your presence and ministers of your life to the glory of Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns together with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. O God, as you invite us to Christ's table this day, may we come knowing that nothing, not even ourselves, can separate us from the love that calls us here or the grace that is provided for us here. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Share with one another the sign of Christ's peace. Again, as we prepare our hearts to receive from our gracious host at his table, let us offer the best of our gifts in appreciation of his goodness. I will serve you because I love you. nothing until you found me you have given life to me heartaches broken people ruined lives are why you died on Calvary your touch is what I Again, in response to God's goodness, giving life to us, let us continue to proclaim his praise as we say the doxology. Praise God, God from, from whom all blessings flow. Praise, praise him, him all creatures here below. Praise him above you, heavenly host. Praise, praise Father, Father, Son, and, and Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become the body of Christ. Blessed be God forever. 
by the mystery of this water and wine to become to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of your hand, the blood of Christ. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we bring these tithes and offerings before you. They will be used in your church for the work you have set before us and for the furthering of your kingdom. Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ, our Lord. With love, we celebrate his death. With living faith, we proclaim his resurrection. With unwavering hope, we await his return in glory. Now with the saints and all the angels, we praise you forever. Holy, 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 holy. holy. Lord God, Lord God of power and might, heaven and, and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, in the calling of Israel to be your people. In your words spoken through the prophets, and above all in the word made flesh, Jesus, your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. We offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. Please kneel. We pray, you gracious God, send your Holy Spirit on these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. Thanks to you, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Please stand. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ, Christ is, is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will, will come, come again. again. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Craig, our patriarch, me, your servant, all the clergy and all your faithful people. In the fullness of time, Christ, Bring us to that heavenly country where with all your saints we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters. 
through Jesus Christ our Lord, the firstborn of all, of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. With him and in him, all honor and glory is yours, O mighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ taught us, we are bold to pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Hallelujah. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Jesus died for you and feed on them in your hearts with thanksgiving. Amen.
Let us pray. Eternal God, <clears throat> Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. And you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, Jesus Christ our Lord, in the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen.